So let's see now how we go about creating symbolic links. You recall that I said if I use the LN command with the minus S option, then I can create a link, say from sample.html. What will I call the link? Well, I'll just call it sim link. How about I call it that? I press enter. Now I do an LS minus L. And I find a very interesting little phenomenon here. Notice I have over here an L in the very, very first column on that line, which indicates that this is a symbolic link. That's what the L means. You can tell that a file is a hard link if it's got uh, a link count over here, but symbolic links are determined over here with the L. And notice also that all symbolic links have full permissions. The permissions on a symbolic link are not actually determined by the link file itself. They're actually determined by the permissions on the original file. Other things that are interesting is the file size is only 11 bytes. And 11 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 bytes. So all that file contains is a reference to sample.html. And you can see that by the, the use of the little arrow here. So can we actually use that to get to sample.html? Let's have a look. If I do a little vi of sim link, I should end up inside sample.html. And let's put a little marker here to make sure that we know that we've come to the right place. I'll just put a few x's at the beginning of the file, then I'll quit out, and then I'll vi sample.html, and I find those x's are there. So I did actually manage to modify sample.html. I modified it by accessing through a symbolic link. Or in Windows terminology, I accessed it through a shortcut. So why would we actually want to use a symbolic link? For that matter, why would we want to use a symbolic link instead of a hard link? Well, let's consider that example I spoke of earlier where the receptionist is keeping a master list of all the extension numbers in the company in a file in her directory. And her directory is perhaps slash home slash users slash marge slash files slash lists slash phone or something like that. And for convenience, you've decided that you're going to create a link to that in your home directory. And you do. And you think to yourself, ha ha ha, aren't I very clever? I will now always have the latest version. I'm much smarter than all those people that just copied the file into their home directories. But what happens if good old Marge, the receptionist, has been preparing another version of that file? She's been working on it, she's got a whole bunch of improvements, modifications, etc. And she's been doing that in a separate file. She hasn't been touching the original because she didn't want to impact anybody's life. And then at some point she decides that the new version is ready to go, so she deletes the old file in her directory and she puts the new file in its place with the same name. My question is this, what's happened to your file? Well, there were several links to that original file and you had one of them and she deleted her link, so your link is perfectly okay. You can still access all the data in that file. However, she has simply put a new file into the same place in her directory. And that new file has nothing to do with your file. It's a completely different file, so it's a completely different inode. And you carry on assuming that you have got the latest version, when all along there's a newer version in a completely separate file in the secretary's home directory. If you created a symbolic link to that file in her directory, you would still be perfectly okay, because she would have deleted the original file but put another file back into the same place with the same original name. And because your symbolic link is only a reference to the file name, you're still perfectly OK. Let's see if I can't simulate that in this directory here. I'll just list the contents of this directory again. Now, I've got a symbolic link. Do an ls minus l. I've got a sim link is the file that points to sample.html. So now I will remove sample.html, which is similar to if the secretary deleted her file, her original file, and maybe she then created another file called sample.html and she created this is the new version 
and she put that in the same place with the original name. Now you do an ls ls minus l. The notice that the sim link, symbolic link, is still there. It hasn't been deleted because the original was deleted. The symbolic link still exists and it's still pointing to a file called sample.html. So let's see what happens if I do a vi of sim link. Let's see if I actually end up inside the new version of the file. Aha, this is the new version. So if the secretary deleted her file and replaced it with another completely different version but used the same file name, you'd still be perfectly okay. So in this sort of scenario, it's actually better to use symbolic links. And symbolic, symbolic links are actually very, very widely used in Unix, more so even than hard links.